What is going on guys, this is again Shrix from SmartHerd. Welcome to 50 second Ruby tutorial. In this tutorial, I will continue my operator overloading part 4. This is actually part 4 guys. Yeah. And in this tutorial, I will overload this element reference operator. That is a subscript operator. And this operator is actually known as element set operator. And I will perform the push operation that we studied in the array topic using this operator now in order to save time i have defined a class tester and defined an instance variable arr which is actually going to act as an array now this at the rate arr equal to arr and this arr variable is nothing but an array because we are sending a list of data 0 1 2 3 to where to this constructor using this object now this ARR gets automatically converted into what an array now I have defined three methods this method will be used to print the value of array and this method will be used to add a value and this method again will be used to perform the push operation in array now let, let us write a statement let's put as a subscript let's say 3 now this ARR array is actually having values like 0, 1, 2, 3 and the index of these value is similar to its value such as its index is 0, its index is 1, its index is 2 and its index is 3 because this is an array. So array subscript 3, this array subscript 3 will represent what? Will represent this value 3. Now here I have written A, A is an object object subscript 3 this represents nothing but in operator overloading if we are overloading this element reference operator then it is going to call this function this function and this 3 value will be saved in this x variable like this now we have to return a value here let's say return at the rate arr which is our what which is an array subscript x now here arr subscript x that is arr subscript 3 is what this value so it is going to print 3 like this now let's save it and execute it yes we are getting 3 as an output now let's move a step ahead let's now perform the push operation in array a then let's say 97 yeah when we write this then it is going to call which method this method now inside this method we can perform our push operation like this at the rate arr when push operation then what x this is going to insert 97 value to where to the end of this array 0 1 2 3 then 97 like this now let us print this put as a subscript 4 now let's save it and execute it yeah here we go we get 3 comma 97 like this 3 is the output of this and 97 is the output of this now let us insert the value like this a subscript what let's say 4 equal to let's say 101 yeah now when we write this a subscript 4 equal to 101 then it is going to overload this operator which operator element set operator this is called an element set operator so this is going to call this function this function now x will get the value of 4 and value will get the value of 101 so 4 and 101 like this so accordingly we can write let's say at the rate arr then x equal to what value yeah like this now let's print it also put as a subscript 4 yeah i'm sorry guys this is actually 5 because 4 i have written there 5 now let's save it and execute it yeah now let's check the output 397 and 101 like this 
so in this way guys we can overload these operators of the array not so difficult guys it is similar to what we done in the previous three tutorials quite easy guys catch you guys in the next tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe this is Shrix from Smartherd signing off